Hi everybody, Ms. Mary back again with another fun virtual story time from Midpoint Libraries. Are you ready to talk about some trains? All right, let's hear it. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. All right, trains. I love trains. I like traveling on trains. In fact, you know what? A couple weeks ago, I got to take a train trip. It was really fun. I encourage everybody to travel the trains. So today, we have a book called I Like Trains. And this one was written and illustrated for us by Daisy Hurst. I like trains. <clears throat> I like playing with my train. I like putting all the animals on board so they can go off on a journey. Sometimes I drive a train of my own. Chugga, 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 all aboard! Have you ever done this? Decorated a box and pretended it was a train? And put your animals in another box to be the other part of the train? I've done that. And I like reading books about trains. Long trains, short trains, trains with faces, fast trains, slow trains, trains in races. But the best thing of all is when we go to the station to catch the train ourselves. We buy two tickets and we find the right platform. Platform means the place where you get on the train, right? Because there are many trains that come, so you need to be standing in the right place to get on the right train. We choose some seats by a window and then the train sets off. Through the window, I see houses and backyards, trucks and cars, hotels and factories, and boats on a river. I see fields and trees, horses and sheep, darkness in a tunnel, and another train whooshing by. I always like to wave when the other train goes by. The train slows down and stops. And then at last I see grandma. Nothing like a grandma hug, is there? I tell grandma all about the journey and I draw her a picture. And the pages are stuck together. There we go. Then there's just enough time to visit my favorite playground. Hey, look, favorite playground involves a train. I'm not surprised. I love playing trains with Grandma. And then they're heading back home again. Bye-bye. And even the back part has train tracks on it. I have to tell you, I love riding on trains. The trip that I just took a couple weeks ago, I um, got to ride for maybe two or three hours um, each way. And it was mostly um, through cities and small towns. We didn't get to go past any farms or mountains. It was a pretty short trip, but it's really cool to do. It's very relaxing. So I thought maybe we could share a rhyme and a flannel. Are you ready? We're gonna put up the train cars here. And you know what I didn't do is measure to make sure this is gonna fit. So wouldn't it be funny if my train was too long? Let's see. We've got lots of colors here. And we're gonna put all of those on. And, oh, our caboose is just gonna fit. Story of my life, my caboose just fits. Okay, there we go, are you ready? Clickety clack, clickety clack, here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety clun, clickety clun, here comes the engine, number one. Clickety clue, clickety clue, here comes a coal car, number two. Clickety clee, clickety clee, here's the box car, number three. 
Clickety clore, clickety clore. Here comes the tank car. Number four. Clickety clive, clickety clive. Here comes the stock car. Number five. Clickety clicks, clickety clicks. Here's the caboose. That's number six. Number six just fell off. Let me get that caboose back up here. Oh my goodness, y'all Mary's having a great day today. <gasps> There's our caboose. <gasps> clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train on the railroad track. Choo choo. Now this kind of a train is a freight train. And that's usually what we see driving around uh, on the tracks near where we live. But the kind that people drive right on, that's called a passenger train. And that's a little bit different. So, to talk about different kinds of trains, I have this nonfiction book. Remember, that's a book of true facts. This is called Trains, and this one was written for us by Julie Murray. All right. Woo woo! The train whistle blows, the train moves along the tracks. Trains carry people and goods from one place to another. Goods means stuff. All right. The front of the train is called the locomotive. It holds the engine and it pulls the train cars. You have a locomotive on passenger trains and freight trains. Train cars, uh, trains have cars that are joined together. The cars can carry people or goods, stuff. There are different kinds of trains. Passenger trains carry people. You can eat and sleep on the trains. That's true, I've done that. It's like a whole little restaurant right inside the train. So you can eat while you're watching the country go by. So cool. Commuter trains carry people in the city. Many people ride the train to work. Now here where we live in this part of Ohio, we don't have a lot of commuter trains, but big cities have them a lot. If you've ever been to New York or Washington DC or Chicago, I'm sure you've ridden them there. Now, a subway is a train that goes underground. Many big cities have subway trains, like New York and Washington and Chicago. Freight trains carry goods. Remember, that means stuff. And they carry things like coal and grain. Oh, bullet trains go really fast. They can reach speeds of 220 miles an hour. So if you think about when you're on the highway and you're riding in the back of the car and it's going really, really fast, this train is a whole lot faster. We don't have a lot of those around here, but if you go to other countries, you might ride a bullet train. So here are some interesting facts about trains. Did you know that in the United States, trains are mostly used to transport stuff, not people as much, but in Europe, they use trains to get people around a whole lot more than we do here in the US. Kind of interesting. So I think for an activity today, um, I've got two ideas. One, you might remember in our first book that the child drew a picture of the train trip for grandma. So you could draw a picture of a train or a neat thing to talk to your grown up about would be um, if you could take a train trip anywhere, where would you go? How about that? I'll give you some ideas. Um, I have taken the train from Ohio to California, from Ohio to Nevada, from Ohio to Washington State. That's all the way over. All those places are over on the other side of the country. I've taken the train from Ohio to Chicago, from Ohio to Washington, D.C. And the train trip that I just took, I went from Baltimore, Maryland, to Richmond, Virginia. And if you would like to get out a map and figure out where those places are, I bet your grown-up would have fun showing you that. So where would you go on a train if you could? Oh, come to the library and tell me. I'd love to talk about trains. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for indulging my love of trains and story times and flannels. And I'll see you next time. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, give a hug. Ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye, everybody.